Yo, what's up everyone? You got Lightning here, coming at you with another gameplay. This is my How to Carry Low Elo, Elo, Low Elo series. Uh, we're playing Aurelia. We're getting invaded in the bot lane down bottom. Uh, they got the Blitz Crank going on. Uh, looks like we're facing Gangplank. I've already looked up this guy's stats. He's run Thunderlords. He's Silver 4. He's got about 200 Gangplank games and he builds Crit. Really aggressive. Looks like he wins most of his games too. So. We'll see how this goes. Uh, Runes and Masteries uh, should be coming on the screen now. Uh, these are just really standard Masteries. This is a um, an account that I don't have a lot of Masteries and Runes on, so... Uh, otherwise, I probably would have run uh, some health for level or some CDR and the Blues. And you got me with that Q. Uh, this matchup, I, I don't really struggle with it. I just try not to take two heavy trades level one. Damn, that was uh, bad. Um, so he's just trying to get his Q's off of me. I'm just trying to, st I start my Q because, um, <clears throat> I want to just CS safely. I gotta stun all this off, that's fine. So I got a really good trade level 1. As soon as I hit level 2, uh, I might go for a, a really good trade on him. Uh, you can generally beat Gangplank pretty early, uh, especially as Aurelia, because if you get the, um, uh, the E off, and then your Q, uh, you can generally chunk him pretty hard. Man, this guy's doing so much poking. I will not fall him. Okay, so I got my level 2. That's good. He's still level 1. Got his flash. So he was focusing too much on um, trying to poke me down level 1. you got to try to not take too much damage, but at the same time, you have to... Um, you have to try and get the CS, because if you can get CS uh, level 2 first, you can really fuck shit on him like I just did. And he's still level 1. Uh, I'm gonna try. Uh, I might be able to get a trade on. I might just be able to back actually. I might try and bait him into attacking me. Okay, there we go. Is he gonna go for it? No, okay. Uh, I should probably just back because Jack's gonna be coming top anytime. That was so risky. Like you know, as a rally, you try and um, get the health down by what do you call it? Um, like hitting the tower, and then they'll attack you, and then they take all the minion aggro, and then you can generally stun them because they're higher health than you. Oh, if they are higher health than you, it's just so cheese. I'm gonna try and cheese this guy here. Oh, what? Where's my where's my Q? I I fucked my Q up. Oh my god. Okay, now now I'm gonna back. I'm probably just going to get a Doran's Blade, uh, just for that sustain, and the health. And then go straight back to lane. Uh, yeah, we'll get a ward as well. I'm going to need one. Looks like Jax is farming, I haven't seen him on the map yet. Unless I'm just blind. But hopefully he doesn't come top. The lane's actually pushing to me, so I could have got away with not TPing, but... Um, I really want to pressure this guy, yeah, so... He's got to level up on me. I know I'm going to hit level 4 after this minion here. Place my pink while I'm here. Massive minion wave pushing towards me, so I have to just let him push. I think um, if I go for CS, I think he's gonna um, get his E combo with me. Maybe not. Maybe it's just for his protection if I jump on him. That's what most gangplanks do. They'll just, they'll just can't help you, bud. Can't help you. Holy shit. Well, Gangplank left lane for a little while. Shit, he's gonna try and get some speed. As long as I'm getting the CS, it's fine. See, so 17 to 30 CS. Oh, I'm gonna miss that one. There's no turning back. Okay, so he's level 5, you know, I've got 20 CS up on this guy, so it's a pretty good start, the, la the, lane, like, the lane sort of pushed into me really good. He fucked that up quite hard, it's fine. I'm just forcing, I forced him off the CS, so he's missing quite a bit with the XP as well, so I must have quite a bit of a, a XP advantage too. Getting some really good trades on him, not giving him any breathing room. Because what, what Gangplanks can do versus Aurelia is just max their orange. They'll max their orange when you go on them, and if you get a stun on they'll just press their orange. Uh, which is quite, you know, minor intensive, but they'll, they'll always get away. 
and the only way you can uh, really force them out is just to keep going on them and um, getting that stun while trying to run and run his mana out, make him um, too mana hungry. So it's really, it's just, it doesn't really do anything good for him. It's just really, really fucking annoying. That's all. That's all that does. But looks like this guy's maxing like a normal gang thing. Probably gonna try and dive him if I don't fuck my queue up before then. Man, is Orange did heal him for so much? Maybe he's actually put a couple of points in it. Um, I, like, I thought I had that guy so easy. But uh, that's fine, like, he, he died, it's, it's still worth, like, he died right here. He's got no TP, and uh, the, the lane's gonna shove back to me. So he loses, like, a good almost two waves. But I'm gonna go for a Sheen, and one of my boots, and I'll buy another ward, just in case Jax clears that one. With precision. So with me on 50 CS and him on 21, um... That's that's pretty good, you know. Thirty CS lead at se seven minutes is pretty decent. I I try and judge my CSing based on the seven minute ready. mark. If I if I have over fifty at seven minutes, I consider myself doing um, you know not too bad. Um, it, it's very rarely um, people have too much more than that because no one really CSs perfectly in this game, Justice especially down in silver, even even like top 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 ranks. Magnetus. Just get that damage on him. See, so he just uses orange and run away. It's so annoying. But it doesn't really win in the lane. It just gives him the survivability. Okay, got his flash. Flash of flash. I'll, I'll take that any day with a game plank. Uh, I might miss a couple of CS for that, but... He must have gone back to lane. With precision. I don't think the lane will. Oh, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty bad spot. If these these minions could quite easily just go under my tower. Um, melee minions they really like to just uh, fuck you by going under the tower at randomly. So hopefully it doesn't. Oh, it's happening. Okay, I'll just have to get that one. So I was gonna push to him eventually. I might just. There we go. Okay, that evens it out. At least it'll stay here for a little bit. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to stay right here in front of his tower while I'm trying to push him, because uh, that just leave, gives uh, Jax. He got two kills. He could really do some damage to me. I got that. God damn it! I should have. Shouldn't have fallen for that. Okay, that's fine. And I always max my. I max my Q second person game like every time because. There's no point in maxing E when he's just gonna orange it. Even though your cooldown for your your cooldown for your E is a shorter cooldown than his orange, like I just find it better maxing Q. So I always max Q like every, every like oh sorry W then Q, leave E to last every every time of this gameplay. So he's gonna yes yeah. He's just hit level seven. I'm already level eight. He attacked me. <coughs> Zax and Jax is jungle, so that's <laughs> pretty risky by him. I'll ping his flash, so he knows he's gonna. F I think he knows he's there. No, maybe not. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. I prep, prep one minion, and now I can leave that minion there and just wait for him to push up. And there's always that threat of me jumping on. Oh, she went basted a flash as well. Holy shit! The only thing I was worried about there was her, her um, her Q going through me. Uh, like, because if it goes into me, I'm gonna die like instantly. So that's what I was really worried about. Now I'm gonna be really greedy. I've got blue buffs, so I can try and push this lane out now. And now, so that gives Cat some some breathing room. Okay, that's just dodgy. I just have to go. Run, run, run. So he's got a Sheen. 
uh, 37 to 86 CS. So I'm just shitting on this guy. He's got no kills. He got the two assists, which is unfortunate. Like, it, was, it was just a misplay on my part, him, especially when I died at the tower, but it was still worth it. He still lost a lot of that. Uh, second item we're getting is Phage. I love getting Phage versus Gangplay, because especially when he when he uses his orange from your stun, you still you still have stick power to him, and that's the main thing in this matchup. I'm just trying to stick to him. The hardest thing is if um if you jump on him and he gets a good um, barrel on you, um, and a good crit, then he can chunk you quite hard. And then especially if he, if you try and stun him and then he uh, uses his orange on your stun, it's like it's quite a pain in the ass. So it's good to have some sticking power to him because he. Until it gets the slow on you, then he always runs away. So just get, having that phage, you know, getting that sticking power. Yeah, I knew he'd have one on the bush. Thing missing. He's probably gone back. I think I might just keep pushing. Hate not having attack speed. There we go. I'm gonna get a ward on this bush, because I wanna know. Okay. I want to clear his vision. Zack could always come straight back to top if he wanted to. Oh no, there's no point in pretending. I wasn't sure if the um, cat killed the uh, Ari. Jax is here. I had to flash. I just don't like that he's 3 1. What the fuck? He's building a mana moon? What the fuck? What's he playing at? Okay. It's fine. I'll just shove him out of lane with my ult. One thing you can, thing you can do, like, it's, it's always better. I, I, normally, I what I like to do is um, get a combo on them without using my ult. So, get some sort of half health and then, and then give them the all in. Uh, once they're once you've chunked them with your with your regular combo already, but um with gangplank I just like to all of them straight away. Who's that? Oh, he cancelled his jump. Jack's gonna stay here. Jump on him? I'm just sort of trying to bait bait him so he can jump on him. Nah, Ari's there, dude. Go. I wasn't too sure if he was gonna jump. Like, I was trying to wait for him to jump on that guy, but whatever. There's a thing in the bush. This way. Thank you. Oh, I'm CS for that. Nice. Got my level 11. It's really good. Uh, 6400. So I'm double CS. Pop the corrupting potion to get the damage. Ah, oh, damn it! So close. Got my stacks of uh, fervor. See, I, I, every time he comes up for a CS, I've got that minion always prepped. So I, when he comes up for a CS, every time he's just gonna get chunked, and he's just gonna go back, uh, fill up on oranges, and then and then come back. Now I think I might try and get the tower and then snowball the rest of the map. It's already it's already snowballing. When he goes for the ult, that's fine. I might chuck a ward in here because we'll. I just want to ult this. There we go. So I've cleared that. That's my Triforce. Is it? Yes, it is. Can you get me there? That's good. He's probably seen me though. There we go. Thanks for the 10 gold. I mean, it's fine if he wants to miss these minions at the tower. I might actually just try and uh, force him out still. Just force him off the wave, off the tower. Should be attacking the tower. Ari's coming top. I think I've got a bit more time. Okay, just cool. It'll let the wave rebound. When he pushes up, I might just try and chunk him and then back and then TP back. Who will cannot be defeated. He should be too scared. I mean, I'm two levels ahead, so... I mean, this is fine with me. He's had to get ninja tables. Oh, shit. Ends here. Oh, he got me. Okay, it's three top. Yeah, I should have backed off. I should have backed off and just TP back. That was my bad. And I have so much gold. Two and a half thousand gold. 
Uh, it's just it's sort of at the point where you really, you know what, I'm just going to get victory this game. Grand Queen's not a, flat, a threat, and also I don't want to get stunned by the uh, the jacks and then the Ari charm, and then not to mention like Blitzcrank, Silence, and then Knock Up, and then the Jinx. There's just, they all have some sort of CC. Oh, we got a tower up there, so that's not too bad. We got a kill on Blitzcrank. So it's not too bad my tower dying. Uh, we have first tower anyway, so it's not too bad. Uh, I might go for a block next actually. I think I can just, I think I'm strong enough to get a block. Especially with how I've, um, <clears throat> how I've got about 60 CS in front of Gangplank. Uh, I think I think damage wise, you know, he, he outscales me later with his crit barrels. They're just crazy. But um, I just don't think he's gonna. Oh shit! I don't think he's gonna get to that point this game. Especially with with um, with Cat, and they have like a Jinx and the Blitz. They don't have like if Cat jumps onto the um, Jinx, Blitz isn't gonna save it. Um, you know, they don't have Lulu or anything like that, so it makes it really hard for them to sort of stop us from jumping on the Jinx and then take away their range damage. And then just, they've just got Jax and then uh, Gangplank, I guess, who's really behind. Should I TP? Uh, I think I just need to get this tower. Open top up. I should have already got it, but I was I was going for cheeky snowballs and cheeky, just cheeky plays, trying to zone them off. In a sense, it paid off because I'm so far ahead, but. At the same time, it's cost me a couple of deaths, which I shouldn't have got. But as long as I get this tower, here we go. Got the gold for that tower. I'm just gonna shove this right in. Okay, so Cat's, Cat's going off right now. With all of Ari's rooms, like. She had to try and catch back up. Catch just got so far ahead. Got three towers, got a lot of gold. And now she's just going off on everyone. Which is pretty good on her part, like good on her. Uh, I wanna tank that, no thanks. Alright, get these wingers. Clear them off. Keep mixing my Q. See a Q does a lot of damage, like especially when you get your Triforce. If you go for a uh Sterox or a Bork even. Um damn, I forgot it. That's fine. I wonder if the red's up. I might try and get a ward in the red. Oh, in the red side jungle. Just so I can see if anyone's coming for me at any, at any time. Or both of these. I want this. Hopefully, Kate doesn't try and steal it. Good. Uh, she's probably back at this point. Actually, I might just shove this in. I don't know if Gameplank's just gone back to buy or if. Um, Because Jax is bot, so I could just shove this right in. Like I said, with Gangplank, I always trade a Flash for a Flash, because my Flash, his Flash is more valuable than my Flash, I, I think, because if I get on him and he doesn't have Flash, say if I have a Bork or something, then he's just, he's just got nothing, nowhere to go, so it's just really beneficial if I have a, uh, I might sell the Dorans actually, this, I still want to use the Ward, uh, this Ward will be redundant soon, I think, um, top, like, laning phase is over. Uh, it's still handy to see if someone's coming through the river, but I think a ward uh, like in the jungle in here or something would be way more beneficial, e even here, maybe even down by dragon. Uh, I like to have one pink ward on the map at all times. Uh, if I can't have one, then it uh, generally means I'm trying to snowball or something like that. Uh, and I've got shitloads of items I need, to, I need to try and put together to, to build a main item. But uh, generally, I like to have a pink ward on the map, uh, either in top or to control barren objectives. Nice. What I could do. I like having my bulk on five. Always have it on five. Okay, six seconds to my Q. Uh, I didn't get the reset. That's that's okay. So it's twenty to eight. So at this point, I'm two levels in front of my uh, my laner getting clank on a nice thing. Oh, nice hook. This is just great. <laughs> And you know, Gangplank's just got his Triforce and he's going for that Sterox, but I'm, I've almost got my Bork and I've got my Mercs, you know, so... Oh, he got 
got that gun. Do we really want to push this open? <laughs> we can't do it like that. That's not the way. That's not the way. At this point, I uh, push back off. I don't want to. If we risk anything now, like if Cat dies again, like if we keep getting shutdowns and that sort of thing, it's just Jack's level thirteen. With that build, can he kill me? I don't know. I feel like I should TP. Here we go, kill an Ari. There we go. What else is there? There we go. Get his barrels. Oh, I should have gone there. Damn it. Uh, lost a tower. That's probably not good. I should have TP'd, I feel like. Um, although the kill an Ari is... Uh, she's not really worth much, I guess. Just take their jungle. Don't give them any breathing space. I don't really want to get back. Have we got two guys de dealing with Jax. Can he. Is he gonna get. What the hell? Just for a life. Jax flash, ping that. He's gonna die, right? Holy crap. Uh, what I might do is actually. Put my pink ward somewhere else. I really want to just control the whole jungle, like all the time. Um. Nice. So Cat's really strong. Look, looks like she knows what she's doing. So you know, good on her. She's had a pretty good game, you know, just destroying that Ari, getting that assassination going, which is really good. Ari, so this is a 7.11 changes. Ari, I don't know, I guess. I definitely felt like this Ari didn't do as much damage, but it's probably just because she lost lane. Uh, I got like ripped to shreds by the cat. But I don't know. Um, Because what, what did they change? They put extra damage in her E. Oh, Jax is here. Holy shit! Holy crap! What the fuck? Holy shit! It does damage! Holy shit! The fully stacked Muramana does damage. Holy shit! Okay. To, in all fairness, I had I had heaps of gold. What I have, I had 2,300 gold. I really should have backed anyway. Uh, and I have no armor, so uh, I, I guess that's expected. Uh, <laughs> Shit. Uh, I'm gonna get a randoms. Given that Gangplank has heaps of crits through his barrels and whatnot, and, and Jax does have attack speed and you know he's a attack based champion, and then Jinx is, again is a crit champion. I'm just gonna ping them that I have my TP. I don't know to that, to be honest with you. The cat does so much damage, she's really strong. I'm not even carrying this game, I'm just, I'm just here. He's a level above me, can I even get this? Will cannot be defeated. We get a dragon. Infernal dragons, I prioritize above every, every other dragon. They're just... Oh shit. Sorry mate. I mean, while Jax is there... And I can always TP there if I have to, so... Might as well take a free dragon. Yeah, I got it. Where's Jax going? He's probably going... There he is. Save the Boomer. Save the Boomer. Oh, I don't know where he's going to be going. Oh, there he is. He's run now. Oh, gangplank. Kill this. Okay. Uh, ping. Missing here. Jax is in here somewhere. I didn't see him walk into the lane or anything, so he could be just sitting in this bush. Well, I know I should be face chicken. Alright, so while my team's pushing bot. Oh, she just want to push, push the, I want to push the tower. See, the thing with her is she's just pushing through mid the whole time for no like for no reason really. That's fine. Oh, all good, all good. Okay, we can just tower now. Oh, can we? That was dumb. That was dumb!
sort of thought I could um stun and then flash away, but my plan just didn't work at all. <laughs> That's okay. Didn't even get the tower. Wanted to get the tower. Didn't get that. <laughs> Only got a couple of kills or assists. Zaxxus. Yeah, I think I thought I would have built, built that first, but it was okay. Because the crit damage... So we little randoins over, you know, over this or everything else. Like, the crit damage isn't really coming through. Well, it is starting to come through for gameplay. But Jinx is 4 and 10. Her crit damage, you know, it's not it's not too lethal yet. If she was really ahead, that'll be that'll be a, a time we build a randoins really quickly. But I thought he would have wanted to go for the um, the Cinder Hulk first for the extra health. And then move, move into another item from there, but okay. That's fine. I guess it just needs to be tanky, and also the random one has that active as well, not to mention the passive. Cat's gonna just shit on these guys. She's gonna need to reset central. There we go, there we go. a waste of his ult gangplank, mate. We could actually do this. It's risky, but we could do it. It's only gangplank. The cat could probably get them both there. Unless she gets caught. Oh, she might I'll just use my W to heal up. Uh, and along with the Sony heals. It's really, really good. I'll use my Triforce Cross. This should be easy. That was actually really close. Back here, get my randoins. Uh, I've already got my block. Uh, what do I get next? I was thinking about going for a Guardian Angel, since like, if I get caught by Jax and then CC to block CC chained, I could die pretty easily, but... Guardian Angel, should we? I'll, I'll get one of these anyway. Just for now. I should have bought another uh, pick ward, but I didn't. <laughs> Poor Jinx, man. <laughs> yeah, she's got to deal with Zack, like, Cat, myself, you know. No, no Agile, no, no uh, <laughs> um, mobility, you know. <laughs> Poor girl. Dodge that. Is Zaki gonna kill that guy? Nah, he won't. I mean, she's doing the smart thing going for the initiative. I should have as well, but hey. Yeah, I'll go for Sterox. Sterox is always gonna kill Man, she just does no damage to Jax because of the hex drinker. This is one of the strangest Jax builds I've ever seen in my life. And I'm just. I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of just watching Jax. Just shit on people. I never seen this ever in my life. So, Napalm Death, whoever the fuck you are, man. <laughs> Good job on your build, man. <laughs> I just can't believe it does does damage. You know, it just with no other sort of mana items. I guess it's got the Triforce, but I definitely was not expecting that sort of damage output uh, when I went to first Jordan the first time. So that was quite surprising. Uh, I will admit. I'm gonna try and stop this. I think if I do get there, I can kill Jinx. Holy shit. Oh, there we go. Okay, this one. There's an Infernal Drake right now. Push this, push this. There we go. What's up now? Okay, I right, calm down there. Oh, that hook. That could have been really bad for us if we hit that. I hit Flash, but. Straight in for it. 
See, two Infernal Drakes, that's really huge for us now. It's real huge. Shit. I got hooked out of all people to get hooked. I got hooked. I thought I was at the I thought I was on this side of him and I got hooked. God damn. What's this for that? He's doing it. Nice. Cat's carrying this game so hard. I didn't really do a lot, I just I, I put gangplank behind, but see now he's doing pretty well. Like um he's caught up in CS a little bit, he's still 50 behind. But you know he got a few kills and a few assists. Uh and he's died less than me, so. If anything, I, I didn't really snowball the lane the way I was meant to, and I should have just kept uh, track of the, what the Jax was doing, because he just come top a couple of times, and that's, that is how I died. But since they do have the Jax and he got strong early, I felt like I couldn't really split push, so that's why I, that's why I sort of thought if I joined the team and go for Ari and Jax, kill their specialties, that was the best uh, option. Well anyway, let's get game done, guys. Uh, Hopefully you enjoyed that game, I uh, hope that I um, was able to show you something that you didn't know before, or something that you liked, uh, like that Jax build, man, but props to that Jack for that, for that build, man, <laughs> like, I still can't get over it, I just, just, i never seen it in my life, but anyway, uh, that was a strange game in Silver Elo, uh, another video for my How to Carry Low Elo series, uh, but yeah, if you liked the video, just uh, leave us a like and a comment, or or subscribe if you want more content. I've got heaps coming. I've got an Aurelia guide coming in the next week. A comprehensive Aurelia guide. Uh, even though I'm not the best uh, Aurelia player mechanically, I do know a lot about her. So, um, especially matchup wise. Uh, so that'll be coming out, and it's going to be huge. So, uh, hopefully you guys can look forward to that. But anyway, uh, I'll leave you guys to it. And thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah. yeah.